Hey everybody, Pink Kitty here again, bringing you another Dollar Tree haul video. Um, I got quite a lot of stuff to show you today. I went to three different Dollar Tree stores. I'm fortunate enough to have so many Dollar Tree stores in my hometown. Yeah, I've got a bit of an obsession. So, a lot of the stuff I bought, I didn't really need it, but I'd seen it there before and I thought, this looks pretty cool. I want to try it and see if it's actually got good quality or you know if it's just a cheap dollar store item I don't need to buy again everything was only a dollar so I didn't exactly break the bank getting all this stuff but I thought I'll test it out for you guys and if you go to your local Dollar Tree store and you see the exact same thing then you'll know hmm this is actually pretty good or no way I would not buy this at the Dollar Tree so let's get right into it all right first bag I bought, uh, this is a heart-shaped crafting wreath, and I'll show you what I'm going to do with this later, but they had all their Valentine's stuff out still, so I bought one of these. I'm going to make a cool craft of that later. Then I found they have these packets of Make It blocks. They're, um, says they're compatible and fits all leading brands, so... They look like Legos, but they're not the Lego brand, but it says it should fit on the Legos. So I thought, well, I'll give them a try I, just to see. So they got a pack of um, blue. It comes with 48 pieces. So I got blue, and they had yellow, and they had white. Let's see, they have black, and then they had red. So I'm going to go ahead and play around with these and see if they actually do are compatible with Legos and how well they stand up. They also had these cool Make It base plates. So they're a nice little square so you can actually build something on these. So they had the color white, it's really cool lime green, and a gray. So I'm going to play around with those and see how how well they are and how, how they stand up to, you know, um, the other brands and they also had these uh these make it blocks kits these cute little uh kits so i got a bunch of a couple little girly ones so this one is a cute little um swing and this one is like a little vanity stand aren't those adorable and then this one is a little beach scene look at the umbrella oh my gosh so i thought i'll put these together and see how, how cute they look on my little uh, Base plates. Let's see what else. Oh, I got a couple of books. Dollar Tree is actually good for looking for books too. So I got like several uh, really good reading books. This one is The English Duke by Karen Rainey. So read that. And a lot of these are like history and romance, which is books that I really like. So for only a dollar, why not? Easy reading for the summer. And this one is. His Christmas Pleasure. And then I've got Becoming Marie Antoinette. So those actually sound really good. I can't wait to read those. So if you really look, you can find some pretty good books at the Dollar Tree. I found a couple of craft books too. This one is called Big Knits. It's got a bunch of nice knitting uh, sweaters in there. I can't knit, but for only a dollar, who wouldn't get this? Besides, maybe down the road someone's going to teach me how to knit and this will come in handy. And then I also got, they had this paper pom-poms. The book is a little damaged, but it's still, it's still readable. So it's got how you can make these cool pom-poms out of paper for decoration. Isn't that awesome? You can make this cool little topiary thing for decoration. So for a dollar, it's like, yeah, I was going to quick grab that. All right, another bag. Let's see. I have a bunch of these. I got all of their valentines -y flowers. A while ago, I bought this really nice tall glass vase, and I'm going to stick all these flowers in it to decorate my table for Valentine's Day. But when I'm all done with it, I'm going to take them all and I'm going to attach them to my heart wreath so I can make a hanging wreath for next year. So 
So that's a good way to reuse and recycle. Good decoration. And it's going to look so cool. Look at all these cool designs. This one is just a bunch of sparkly little hearts. And I got some really pretty roses and some more hearts. Pretty white ones. So I thought that's going to look really cool on that wreath and also on the table. Over here. Oh, look at this. More flowers. Look at that. I just, I went crazy. They're only a dollar each. Besides, I wanted to make sure to have enough to glue on my cool wreath. So look at all these, look at all these cool patterns. They had lots of different styles, all different kinds. So I really went to town and got as many of the different patterns and styles that I could find. Because I want a good variety. All right, next bag. Here we go. More flowers. It's just never ending. Wow, I didn't realize I got so many. Oh, all right, I got some packs of paper cups. I got them in colors pink, white, and red. Each pack comes with 12 cups. And I like to go with the paper cups because they're, they're biodegradable. So I don't like to go with plastic. because People don't remember to recycle plastic, but paper, yeah, you can throw in the trash and they will, will break down over time. So I got a bunch of packs of those for Valentine's. And let's see. And this, I wanted to give it a try. Dippin' Dots cereal, the banana split. Don't exactly know how these are gonna taste, but I figure with a splash of milk, it might actually taste pretty good. But for only a dollar in a big family size box, I could do that. I can give that a try. Let's see. They had these there. I wanted to give them a try. This is moisturizing body cream, coconut oil, and sea salt. So I thought, nice, very nice. Looks like a very nice bottle, too. So high quality. I thought I'd give that a try. And then they have, I've never heard of this stuff before, nourishing body polish in French lavender and citrus. It says to use, you apply a generous amount on wet skin, so you're in the shower, massage for one to two minutes in circular motion, rinse with warm water, reveal silky and smoother skin with each use. That's not the Dollar Tree, so I thought, I wanna give that a try, that sounds pretty cool. Put on some nice moisturizing lotion while I'm in the shower. Oh, and then, when I was there, I saw that they had put up a new new display of all beauty benefits products. The Dollar Tree doesn't have this stuff very often, but when they do, grab it. Because beauty benefits is actually a pretty good quality makeup and such. So sometimes, most Dollar Tree makeups isn't the greatest, but sometimes they'll have the beauty benefits stuff there, and this stuff is really good. So. They had a big stand, brand new, all bunch of stuff, so I went crazy and bought a bunch. So I got an eyeshadow trio. This one is in rose, beautiful rose colors. And let's see what else here. And then I got a pressed powder in the lightest color they had, cream. I like to put pressed powder over top of my liquid foundation to kind of, you know, dry it up and make it look smooth and creamy. And then I got every single color of their liquid lipsticks that they had. So I just grabbed every single color that was on the stand. So I've got peach, and then I've got mauve, and then I have papaya, and then this one is cherry, bright red. And then, oh, and then I also got their, uh, wanted to give their volumizing mascara a try and this is in black so I like mascara so I thought I'm gonna give their mascara a try because they didn't have mascara last time and then I got another lips lipstick and this is called brick so I got a bunch of that stuff I'm excited to try I love the beauty benefits stuff this stuff is actually really good all right we're almost done let's see what else do we got here oh I got some cotton rounds at the Dollar Tree. This is for like removing your makeup and such. And then at one of the places I found they had these cosmetic wedges. These are nice for doing your uh, makeup and but also doing your nails too. And it comes with a pack of 28. And I go through these kind a lot. The wedges kind, not the other shapes. But I, so this would be good. And then I got another cool craft storage box. It's got a lot of, a lot of nice uh, little tiny compartments in it. 
So this will be good for storing a lot of little tiny pieces, like beads and such. And then, oh, and one of the places had a multi-purpose adhesive spray. I've never seen this at any of the Dollar Trees before, so I thought, I'm going to give this a try. It says it works on paper, wood, cardboard, and more. Non-toxic, fast holding, and dries clear. So, I'm a big-time crafter, so I want to see if this works pretty well. I'm going to go back and get some more. And then I got some nice... Nice hand lotion, nice body lotion that for I need to use at work because I wash my hands a lot, so my hands get really dry. And I didn't want to get no expensive lotion because I'd go through it too much. So Dollar Tree has these nice, these nice lotions. I've actually gotten these kind before in the past. That's why I know they're really good. I like them. For only a dollar, it's a really good quality. So this one is Darling Heart Pear and Blossom Scented. This is an Aqua Dreams Musk and Freesia Scented. I like this stuff because when it goes on your hands, it dries nice and smooth and it doesn't leave your hands oily or sticky and it completely dries off like you didn't even know you put it on, but then your hands are left nice and soft and this is really, really nice stuff. I really like getting those. All right, last bag. Let's see what we've got in here. All right. I got a pack of razor blades. I like to get my razor blades at the Dollar Tree because if you look, you can find some nice ones. I got a three count and these have five blades on them. I get these, I get my razors at the Dollar Tree because I don't shave my legs every day, so I don't need to buy a lot of razors or get the nice expensive ones. I don't need expensive razors. These work just perfect. And as long as you have a nice um, shaving cream, which I get at the Dollar Tree also, any razor will work just fine. Oh, and then I got some art palettes. It's a pack of six and it's got nice six little things if I want to paint something but I don't want you know a lot of paint and plus they're nice and nice plastic so I can wipe those out and reuse them and since I've got six of them I can do up to 36 colors so those that'll be good for crafting oh, and then I got myself a nice little uh, pencil holder or I'm gonna put some like scissors or other things in it even makeup brushes that would be really good, nice for makeup brushes oh, and then I got myself a uh, air freshener for my car. My car's starting to smell a little bit. It's winter time, so yeah, it smells. Let's see. Oh, and then I got some cute little uh, gift bags here. Pack of three, but they're all like marbly and whatnot, and some have glitter. This one, this, this one is glittery. And these all have different, and they had two different styles. So I got these ones, and then I've got a pack of these ones. Some really cool looking ones. For only a dollar and a pack of three, I thought those would be nice. Nice, cute, really stylish little gift bags. But yeah, that is it for this haul. Whew, that was quite a quite a bit. I just went crazy. I was having so much fun. It's like, next store, the next store. I can't wait to see what I'm going to get. Each store had something different that the other store didn't. So if you have more than one Dollar Tree, make sure to check out all of them because each one is going to be different, which is why I like having so many Dollar Trees in my area because... One might have one, the other won't. But all right, hope you enjoyed that. Please hit that like button and let me know if you've seen any of these at the Dollar Tree and what you like to find. I'll see you next time.